Well, hello there, long lost Facebook Live with less folks. <laughs> Woo wee! Been busy. Matter of fact, we'll just go ahead and start there while folks are loading up by the, uh, would say by the dozens, but normally by the ones <laughs> uh, as we're live. And then it starts stacking up to dozens and hundreds and thousands. And well, it's all always good. But uh, maybe there'll be a handful on uh, with us tonight. But um, I've been on the road. Uh, my wife and I left on Thursday heading to Virginia. But we stopped by Bristol, Tennessee, Virginia, Tennessee, Virginia, Tennessee, Virginia. I'm schizophrenic. Of course, there's a Bristol, Tennessee and a Bristol, Virginia. And we were in both. Matter of fact, there was a time when I had my left foot in Tennessee and my right foot in Virginia. Mm -hmm. Sure did. Um, go check out Bristol when you can. It's good stuff, man. It was fun. They got, um, it's a cool place. Beautiful, beautiful place. And, uh, we went to the, uh, uh, birthplace of country music and it had a bunch of gospel stuff there. And, um, it's really good. As a matter of fact, on my Facebook page, we posted a few pictures. If you want to see some of the Bristol pictures and I haven't posted any of the other pictures after that. Since then, uh, just been way too busy. Matter of fact, this is our number 13 working for me today. <laughs> and, and posting pictures was not part of the work. Uh, I had a lot going on today. But after Bristol, we went to Stanton, Virginia. And Daryl, you know right where Stanton is. That's the uh, place where the uh, Statler brothers were born and raised, Harold and Don Reed and Phil and and um, Lou, uh, uh, then uh, Jimmy was just outside of Stanton, Virginia. And my wife and I had uh, supper with Don Reed on uh, Friday night. Don Reed of the Statlers, and we had a wonderful time. It was great, great, great. It was, uh, did I say great? I meant to say great. It really was. Wonderful man, and we just, it was great. <laughs> Have a hard time get, getting beyond that because it was just simply that. Great. So, um, and I have a picture too there that we'll probably post. And then after that, on Saturday, we went to Walton's Mountain, John Boy and all the gang, and uh, visited his home place, Mr. Uh, Hamner. And um, we went to the museum, tons of pictures there, haven't posted a single one on account of I don't have time, but I hope to in the next little bit. But uh, you can see some of the Bristol pictures. So we had a big time. And then Sunday morning and Sunday night, uh, blessed to go and sing with the Old Time Preachers Quartet. The third time I've been able to sing since October of last year. And I don't know that I did uh, good or uh, not, but I gave it all I had. And uh, nobody threw tomatoes or anything like that. So I guess maybe we hung in there okay. And uh, we appreciated being able to uh, go there to... Uh, Lynchburg Sunday morning, and then to Danville, Virginia on Sunday night. Then uh, Bev and I uh, drove back last night, got in about six o'clock. I worked till 10 o'clock in my office and then up at it at six o'clock this morning. Haven't stopped. And oh, my. Uh, so and no complaints. Your old buddy Les is back. Back up to his to his old ornery, hardworking crazy hours self <laughs> and and old brother les is happy about it i was sick and tired of being sick and tired and uh, we're not that anymore continue to pray for my lungs still got some lung issues it's the inflammation's not going away it's hanging in there can't hold those big quartet ending notes out chris and uh, you understand that, but uh, so we stagger our endings and we make it work. And the guys are uh, are kind to me. They do all of the work and all the hard lifting and the loading in and loading out. I cannot do that. Uh, so uh, they're being very kind to me, and I appreciate that. Love my old time preacher quartet friends, Mike, Adam, and of course Tim, and my pinch hitters too, who um, sing whenever I can't go. And so uh, that was quite a weekend and uh, hard at it today. So let's see what else we've got going on. Don't forget to um, 
go to the old YouTube channel that we're just starting to build. Matter of fact, um, I just spent $1,200 today. Don't tell, don't tell, Bev. Um, trying to improve on things, ADATs and DATs and whatnots and, and um, uh, mini disc players that I had to buy because of all of the interview stuff that I have on all of those formats to go along with all of the cassettes that I already have, um, uh, a player for that, uh, to be able to play these interviews on some of the special Facebook Live with Less shows. And um, I got a radio thing going on that uh, I can't wait to announce one day, hopefully very soon, for those of you who enjoy real Southern gospel music. More on that later. Yep, old Les is back, Chris. That's right. <laughs> By the way, part of what I did today was uh, um, uh, get with Matt there and uh, getting your two tunes worked on. Matter of fact, you should have them tomorrow. So be looking for your two Kingsman tracks that uh, you're wanting to uh, sing with your quartet. And you'll knock them out of the park, Chris. Good to see you. Hey, Patty from Ohio. Good to see you, Daryl. I told Don, I said, hey, Daryl Sheely says, hey, you know what he said? And I'm quoting here, I believe. Daryl's a good man. He had kind things to say about you, Daryl. So, hey, from Don Reed. Brian Hoffman, good evening. Good evening to you, Brian. And there's Matt Sue, number one. Sue, number one. First person there. All right. Well, we got a few folks hanging in. We'll stack them up as the week goes on. Uh, okay, YouTube channel, uh, Live With Less. Go to YouTube.com, type in Live With Less, and subscribe, would you? And then share so others who enjoy real Southern gospel music and some real bluegrass gospel music and some real country gospel music. I didn't say Christian country. I said country gospel. There's a big difference. Big difference. Um, they Y'all need to subscribe, then you need to share. Okay, do that. And wait till I get the channel really up and popping and the things that I've got in the can and things that I've got them putting on. It's going to blow, blow your mind. It's simply going to blow your mind. Uh, what else we have here? Uh, check up with the Old Time Preachers Quartet. Go to oldtimepreachersquartet.com. And uh, we've got, um, I don't know, we're sing I think the next time we sing is the last Sunday of this month uh, in Murfreesboro at my church in the morning. Uh, old uh, at uh, Middle Tennessee Baptist Church, then at Fair Havens Baptist Church that afternoon, both in Murfreesboro. That's the last Sunday in May. So go check that out. And this Saturday night, I am going to be singing somewhere with some, uh, just me, uh, around Crossville, Cookville, Cookville, I believe. Go to um, butlermusicgroup.com, and then it's, uh, or no, familymusicgroup.com or butlermusicgroup.com. Go to one of them. It'll say Les Butler Ministry. Uh, click that, and it'll give you the date and where I am, and it'll give you all that information. Okay, that's this upcoming Saturday. I'd love to have you if you're in the Middle Tennessee area. Okay? Going to do some singing, some banana playing, and uh, let God do the rest. Might preach a little, testify a little bit, all the above. I don't know. But uh, we'll have a big time. Uh, don't forget to go to the store. That's either at butlermusicgroup.com or familymusicgroup.com. Click on the store and get all of our CDs from the quartet, my CDs, um, the I Like uh, Southern Gospel Style, the best CD, and um, what else we have? We've got uh, the hymn book um, that suits me fine that I wrote and had a bunch of my friends, a bunch of preachers contribute, a bunch of your favorite Southern Gospel singers contribute. Some of my friends in the country and bluegrass fields that, that are eyeball deep in gospel music, like uh, Dwayne Allen of the Oak Ridge Boys and uh, Joe Bonsell of the Oaks and Larry Gatlin and, and, and Jimmy Fortune, Stat, and on and all in that book, talking about their favorite hymns and why they're their favorite hymns. And the first third of the book is a ton of the hymns that have impacted me in my life and the stories behind them. So that's in there. And uh, oh, yeah. And we got here it is. Don't forget. Right there. There's chubby cheek less, 50 pounds ago, pre-COVID, post-COVID, pre-COVID. <laughs> you 
You can get your mug. Six or seven of them back there uh, left. So uh, go get you a mug. And let's see what else we have here. We've got uh, singing news, a fan. We'll talk about that here. Matter of fact, tonight's show, we're going to look at the top five nominees in the singing news fan awards. We're going to feature three folks that I want to feature because it's my show and I can, and I will. Uh, let's see. Okay. And then the schedule for live with less. Let me pull this up here. Uh, let's see. Thursday night, going to have a special show Um that ties into something that I read um, about the church, that church attendance in America has never been lower than it is today. And old brother Les is going to take off on that. And we're going to play some music that kind of ties into that. And then on May 22nd, Saturday, before I head off to go sing in Cookville, uh, we're going to do a BMG FMG artist showcase, Butler music group, family music group, folks that I work with and am blessed to produce. And then uh, next Tuesday is going to be a cool one. I was talking to Don Reed about this one because he is going to love next Tuesday, a week from today, when um, I feature some interviews that I did with the Blackwood brothers, uh, James, Cecil, and Ken Turner, back about 40 years ago. I'm going to try to get the pretty close to the specific date. Um, and that's going to be a week from tonight. So we're going to play some of those interviews and some of their music from that time period. And it's going to be great. And then on May 29th, uh, Tim Rabin, the multi-talented Tim Rabin, Marty's brother, great singer, great songwriter, great musician, is going to be sitting right here with me. And uh, I've already asked him to sing a few songs that I've selected and cannot wait because I am telling you right now, he's going to shut the corn and they're great. I'm going to have him do a Kyla Faye Rowland song that he tears up some songs that he's written. That's absolutely unreal. And that's going to be on the 29th. So there you go. There's the rest of May. And later this week, I work on June schedule and I got some things up my sleeve. It's really, really going to be good. Who else is with us? Dave Compton, evening last. Trust you all. Had a great time in Danville Sunday night. Bless you, buddy. We did, Dave. We had a great time. It's wonderful. Just uh, wonderful. Uh, good crowd. And uh, uh, we just reared back and gave him some full-on Southern gospel quartet music with no frills. The straight-up stuff, what I call real Southern gospel music. Daryl, thank you for telling Don that for me during your time. Your, that's right, <laughs> time with him. It means more to me than you know. You bet, Daryl. You bet. Maybe uh, we'll go up sometime together. Mike Keller. Hello, Brother Les. Hello, Brother Mike. Kevin Roberts. Interesting intro that you sent to radio stations about the song, The Deal. You didn't make it. You didn't think it would be released as a single. Oh, yeah. No. I cannot believe that I have released The Deal as a single because I know radio is not going to play it, Kevin. Um, I'll, be, uh, I'll be blessed if a dozen stations out of the 1,200 that we sent, 1,150-something that we send to. Uh, be blessed if a dozen stations play it, but I, it, it just didn't matter to me. It was something that I felt that I had to do. Uh, I believe the Lord prompted me to do it, to take a stand in these areas. And um, whether radio plays it or not, I sent it. And I'm going to let the Lord deal with the rest of it. Let him accomplish what he wanted to have accomplished, whatever that may be. But, uh, you know, I didn't have many radio, radio stations play the song that I sent out called A Bible uh, and a Belt in support of uh, America getting back to God's word and getting back to corporal punishment for parents and their kids. Got all kinds of Bible to support it, but radio didn't care for it. And... Um, they're going to hate this one even more. <laughs> but for the handful that plays it, God bless you. Thank you for standing for what I believe is what's going on in the world today. The devil has sold America a bill of goods, and they're buying it like it's going out of style. And we'll let the Lord deal with the rest of it. I did it. I recorded it. I sent it, and I mean it, and uh, we'll let the Lord do the rest. Uh, let's see who else we have here. We got Mike. Uh, I'll be ordering me a mug. Well, come on, brother Mike. Haul off and do it. Brian Hoffman, I got to order me one of those mugs. Brian, go do it. Y'all stop talking about it and go do it. I think uh, I looked back there this afternoon because I was looking for something else, and I think I saw six left. 
So anyway, butlermusicgroup.com or familymusicgroup.com. Click on the store. There it is. Uh, get it while it gets good. Miss Maggie, yes, I'm so happy that it is great. Uh, that That is great. Was praying that you all would get to. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, Miss Maggie, unless you're talking about get to go to Virginia, maybe. If that's it, I'm glad we got to go, too. It was a blessing. It was, it was great. Uh, let's see who else we have. Larry, uh, God bless you. We have got to get you in Fayetteville, North Carolina, with some good Southern gospel music. Larry, you do. You've got to do that. You got my number. You got my email address. Let's just get on with it and do it. What do you say, Larry? Come on. Kevin, I actually played it. Kevin Roberts, you played the deal? Bless your heart. Man, I appreciate that. You're one of the dozen that will play it all across America. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. That, I'm honored that you would do it. Thanks for standing with me. I appreciate it. Mike Keller, play, play it all the time, brother. Yes, sir. But Mike, I know you played on your Facebook show. Thank you. I know you're a big supporter of that. God bless you. I appreciate it. James Butler, Les, did you ever get your answer on the webinar about copywriting with the web? No. And I sent um, an email to, one, uh, to a company that I thought might be able to help me. And I got the response back, but it, it'll it take me an hour to read through it. I just scanned a little bit of it. And I still don't think I've got an answer. But anyway, man, I'm trying so hard. Uh, okay, so that's that with that. Uh, all right, now what else do we have here? Uh, we've got the Diamond Awards. Okay. Um, if you haven't voted in the Scoops Magazine Diamond Awards, let's run that by you. Then we're going to run toward the Singing News Top 5 nominees, which is what the show is about today. Going to go through those, going to talk about some of those, going to play some music, and maybe even get a call in. I'm not sure. Uh, Miss Maggie, singing at the church. Oh, yeah, the Old Time Preachers Quartet is going to be there on uh, at Middle Tennessee Baptist Church in Murfreesboro the last Sunday morning of May. So if you don't have a home church, come on out and be with us. Okay, if you haven't voted yet in the uh, Scoops Diamond Awards, please do so. And here's here are some of the categories and some of the folks. If you don't already have someone uh, that's a favorite of yours, I want to give you some suggestions of po folks that I work with, and uh, it would be a blessing to them. Okay, Living Legend Award, Mike Holcomb. It just needs to happen. And shame on everything and everybody in Southern Gospel Music for him not being in the Southern Gospel Music Hall of Fame. Shame on everybody. And you can say, Les Butler said, shame on him. I don't care. So there you are. Uh, <laughs> mixed Group of the Year, uh, Barry Rowland and Deliverance, Heart to Heart, Heaven's Mountain Band or the Williamsons. Consider those. Quartet of the Year, the Old Time Preachers Quartet or the Marksman Quartet. Man, they're great. Uh, trio of the Year, Barry Rowland and Deliverance, Heart to Heart, Heaven's Mountain Band. Duet of the Year, Chronicle. Female Vocalist of the Year, Dina Kaiser from Heart to Heart, Deborah Johnson, Heaven's Mountain Band, Lisa Williamson, The Williamsons, Rhonda House, Heart to Heart, and Tammy Rowland of Barry Rowland and Deliverance. Male Vocalist of the Year, Barry Rowland from Barry Rowland and Deliverance, Darren A. Bear, The Williamsons, David Kaiser, Heart to Heart, Mark Wheeler, Marksman, Mike Holcomb, Old Time Preachers Quartet, Roger Johnson, Heaven's Mountain Band. Song of the Year, Hallelujah March, Heart to Heart. If this altar could talk, the Williamsons. I sang myself slap happy from the Old Time Preachers Quartet or sing about going home, the Marksman. Anthony Berger, instrument, Instrumentalist of the Year. Adam Borden of the Old Time Preachers Quartet. Bo Chesser of the Williamsons. Yours truly of the Old Time Preachers Quartet. Mark Wheeler of the Marksman. Rodney or Roger Johnson of Heaven's Mountain Band. Dottie Rambo, Songwriter of the Year, Lisa Williamson, Mark Wheeler, Roger Johnson. I have three of the greatest writers in gospel music as part of the team that I work with, and it's I am a blessed man. Bluegrass Gospel Song of the Year for a Moment of Grace, Heaven's Mountain Band, Stack Them Stones, The Marksman. Bluegrass Gospel Male Artist of the Year, Mark Wheeler of The Marksman, Roger Johnson of Heaven's Mountain Band. Bluegrass Gospel Female Artist of the Year, Deborah Johnson, Heaven's Mountain Band. Bluegrass Gospel of the Year, Heaven's Mountain Band, or The Marksman Quartet. Gospel Music Today Video DVD of the Year, I Like Southern Gospel Style the Best, the video that I did, or Sons of Uncle Sam, a great uh, patriotic video from heart to heart. And the Paul Heil Broadcast Award, um, I'm the only broadcaster in the company, so that'd be me if you want to do that. <laughs> and, okay, one other thing before we get, I'm telling you, I promise you we're going to get started. Uh, let's see here. Got an email from, well, Brian, Brian Hoffman. 
Are you still on there? Wave at me. Mike Keller, old time preachers quartet by a million. <laughs> um, Brian Hoffman, are you on there? Holler at me here. Say, hey, I'm still here. Uh, let me see. Uh, Gloria Miller Green. Yes, sir. I agree. Mike Holcomb needs to get that award. Well, yeah. Uh, Mike Keller agrees with you. Gloria Miller Green. Hi, Les. Hello, Gloria Miller Green. Miss Maggie singing at the church. Yes, that's right. Okay. So I don't know if you're still on here, Brian, or not. But here we go. Brian sent me an email. And I want to read it because it blessed me. And it's it's emails like this that I get all the time. It's the people that, that come up to me when I'm out with the old time preachers quartet or out on my own singing and preaching. And they come and tell me stuff like what I'm getting ready to read to you, which is why I'm doing what I'm, which is why I'm building what I am building for radio, more news to come. Why I'm building this YouTube channel for real Southern gospel music. Why I do this live with less show for real Southern gospel music, memorabilia, memories, ministry, right here. Brian Hoffman, email me. Just wanted to thank you for the Saturday show on Facebook. I, too, am a fan of real, in capital letters, Southern gospel music. I am 55 years old, and this is this has been my music for most of my life. I won't mention any names, but I'm saddened by what many of my groups and singers have now termed themselves Christian music. Yes, I'm a Christian, and Southern gospel is Christian music. But when I hear that term from many of my favorite groups and singers, I'm usually disappointed in what they're bringing to the platform of Southern gospel music. I love this music, and I love all of your shows. I usually have to listen to them on the road as I'm a trucker. I so appreciate you, Brother Les, and a few others who are sticking to the real Southern gospel music. And also having Adam Borden on the show is just the icing on the cake. Also, I will be preparing for, uh, I'm sorry, praying for your pulmonologist report to be perfect tomorrow. Love you, brother. And it was great. The report was great. I do not have permanent scarring. Still have inf inflammation, lung capacity, 30.4%. Got problems there, but God is, is going to take care of all of it. So... Brian, thank you for that email. And I get that those kind of emails and instant messages and texts all the time. And when I'm out with the quartet, that's all I hear. I mean, all across America, everywhere. And so uh, it's just a thing to me. It's important. And I'm putting my money where my mouth is to the tunes of thousands of dollars. And, uh, and if anybody wants to jump in and help, holler. Because <laughs> I'll take the help. Uh, checks, PayPal, whatever. But I'm before you. Anybody even sends any kind of help, if they do, I'm I'm buying it and doing it, and I'm spending my own money. And um, I, it's just a passion. And you know, it was really um, it was really pushed forward for me when I was in the hospital and I was dying. And the Lord really fanned the, I've been thinking and praying about this for over a year before all of this stuff, but the Lord really fanned that flame among other flames. And so, um, you know, I'm not a spring chicken. So the stuff that I'm working on, if the Lord will bless it and allow it, if he tarries his coming will be, uh, my last hurrah. And I'm going to go out waving the flag for old time religion, old time gospel music, old time worship, all of which I put under the banner of real. Amen, Brother Les. Preach on. All right, here we go. Today's show, tonight's show, is this day or night? Depends on where you are. Uh, Singing News Fan Awards, top five nominees. All right. And you all go ahead and uh, join in. Hey, there's Kevin. Uh, God bless you. Les. Hey, Kevin, thank you for that email, man. It blessed me. It was good. Thank you for that. Okay, so I'm going to give you all the uh, categories and the five nominees in each of the category, and I'm going to kind of drill down in three of those categories, play some music, and, and then we'll call it a night. But uh, jump in there and tell me, Hello, Chad from Wisconsin. Wisconsin? What are you doing in Wisconsin? I didn't know where you live. 
Um, here, uh, but anyway, we're going to talk about three of those uh, categories in particular. Hello, Brenda. All right, here we go. Um, the the favorite artist category. And go ahead and, and type in there um, anytime you want. I mean, I'm not going to take each of these categories, and then we're going to talk about it and all that. I'm, I don't have all might. Um, so as I hit these, if you've got a comment about, oh, I think they missed somebody, or, oh, I believe that the one that you just announced is going to be the one that's going to win. I mean, just go ahead and just jump in there, Okay. Mike Keller, I'm going to die on the battlefield. I'm going to die for the Lord. Yes. All right. Favorite artists, five nominees. Booth Brothers, Collingsworth Family, Jason Crabb, Karen Peck, and New River, Triumphant Quartet. So that's for the overall favorite artist, all categories, quartets, trios, duos, solos, mixed groups, male quartets, whatever, all in the number one big Mac Daddy category that would be favorite artist. There are your five nominees. Favorite soloist, Jason Crabb, Joseph Habedank, Mark Lowry, David Phelps, Lauren Talley. Here's your five soloist. In the singing news, the voice of Southern Gospel music and your soloist for the award jason crab joseph habedink mark lowry david phelps lauren tally favorite quartet ernie haas and signature sound the kingdom hairs <laughs> legacy five mark trammell quartet triumphant quartet all y'all think Ernie Hassan, Signature Sound, Kingdom Airs, Legacy 5, Mark Trammell, Quartet, Triumphant Quartet. Favorite duet, Jim and Melissa Brady, Aaron and Amanda Crabb, Josh and Ashley Franks, the Peyton Sisters, Wilburn and Wilburn. Favorite mixed group, Collingsworth Family, Hoppers, Isaacs, Jordan Family Band, Karen Peck and New River. Favorite young artist, Hope Bowling, the Bowling family. Autumn Neelan Clark of the Neelans. Trevor Kunkel, Mark Trammell Quartet. Katie Irwin, the Irwins. Logan Smith, 11th Hour. Favorite trio, the Booth Brothers. Jeff and Sherry Easter. Brian Free and Assurance. Greater Vision and The Sound. Favorite tenor. Chris Allman of Greater Vision, Michael Booth of the Booth Brothers, Brian Free, Brian Free and Assurance, Ernie Haas of Ernie Haas and Signature Sound, and David Sutton, Triumphant Quartet. All right. Y'all join in there. What, what, let's see what our, what some of you are saying here. What do you say? Triumphant. Okay. I don't know which so for quartet or uh, uh, overall artist. Karen Peck and New River, Patty says. David Phelps, Gloria says. Karen Peck and New River, Chad says. Mike Keller says the Kingdom Hairs. Triumphant Quartet, Gloria Miller, Collingsworth, Gloria Miller, Mike Keller, Greater Vision, Gloria, Brian Freed, Assurance. All right. Let me keep going here. Let's see where I stop at. Okay. Favorite lead, Ronnie Booth of the Booth Brothers, Rodney Griffin, Greater Vision, Dean Hopper of the Hoppers, Clayton Inman, Triumphant Quartet, Arthur Rice of the Kingdom Heirs. Favorite band, Gaither Vocal Band, Isaacs, Jeff and Sherry Easter, Jordan Family Band, Kingdom Heirs. Crying shame that the primitive quartet, the best musicians uh, in, in, in this music, didn't make the top five. Next, favorite baritone, Dustin Doyle of Ernie Hassan Signature Sound, <clears throat> Lauren Harris of the Kingdom Airs, Scotty Inman, Triumphant Quartet, Paul Lancaster of the Booth Brothers, Mark Trammell, the Mark Trammell Quartet. Favorite songwriter, Lee Black, Bill Gaither, Rodney Griffin, Joseph Habedank. Scotty Inman. Favorite bass, Pat Barker, The Guardians. Eric Bennett, Triumphant Quartet. Jeff Chapman, Kingdom Heirs. Matt Fouch, Legacy Five. Paul Harkey, Ernie Haas, and Signature Sound. Favorite album, Worship From Home, Collingsworth Family. The Journey, Greater Vision. Songs for the Times, The Isaacs. Live Like No Other, The McCameys, and Bigger Than Sunday, Triumphant Quartet. 
Favorite soprano, Brooklyn Blair of the Collingsworth family, Karen Peck, and, of Karen Peck of Karen Peck and New River, Kim Hopper of the Hoppers, Morgan Easter Smith of Jeff and Sherry Easter, and Lauren Talley of the Tallies. We're almost done. Favorite song, You Are Loved, Jeff and Sherry Easter, The God I Serve, Karen Peck and New River, I Believe, The Book, Legacy 5, Can I Get a Witness, The Sound, Eye of the Storm, Triumphant Quartet. Favorite alto, Kelly Nealon Clark of the Nealons, Sherry Easter of Jeff and Sherry Easter, Courtney Metz, Collingsworth Family, Libby Stuffle of the Perrys, Susan Wisnett of the Wisnets. Favorite new artist, Bowling Sisters, Endless Highway, Heart to Heart, Jordan Family Band, and The Sound. Favorite musician, Kim Collingsworth of the Collingsworth Family, Jared Easter, Jeff and Sherry Easter, Sonia Isaacs, The Isaacs, Gordon Moat, Soloist, and Gerald Wolf of Greater Vision. There you go. All the categories. Now let's see what everybody's saying right up in here. Let me see. Uh, okay, I last left off there. Okay, Gloria is saying Brian Free for tenor. Uh, Mike Keller, Arthur Rice, so that's for lead. Clayton Inman, uh, Gloria is saying, uh, so that would be for lead. Chad Jones loves him some. Jeff and Sherry. Chad Jones loves him some. Mark T. Mike Keller says Lauren Harris, Patty Graham. Mike Holcomb should have been at the top of the list for bass singers. Well, yeah, anybody's got half of an ear knows that. Half of a brain and a half of an ear. Half of an ear. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, Gloria, Scotty Inman, Mike Keller, Jeff Chapman. Going to talk about that in a minute. Gloria Green, Eric Bennett, Patty Graham, the Isaacs. Uh, Gloria Miller Green, Bigger Than Sunday. Uh, Chad Jones, Karen Peck, Chad Jones, The Sound, Chad Jones, Jared Easter, Chad Jones, Chad Jones. Oh, no, I'm sorry. And Mike Keller, uh, Eye of the Storm, Triumph the Quartet. Okay. So I'm going to go to three categories. I'm going to gack a little bit. I'm going to play some. Let me see here. <laughs> I just got a text from somebody. Okay, let me go to <laughs> I don't know where I'm going here. Okay, let's get ready maybe for this right here. Okay, so I'm going to go to the favorite musician. Now, listen, I know musicians. I are one. Must not be too good because I'm not on this list. But by George, I'm a musician. And uh, everybody that's on this list, man, they are incredible musicians. Kim Collingsworth, I mean, my word. Sonia Isaacs tears up a mandolin. Gordon Moat, I mean, come on. On my best day, I wish I could play as well as Gordon does on his worst day. Gerald Wolf, incredible. Just incredible touch on the keyboard and the piano. It's just unbelievable. However, I'm going to have to give the old nod to Jared Easter of Jeff and Sherry Easter. Why is that, Brother Les? Because the boy can play everything in the world, if it has a string of any kind, I'm talking about, you know, those, uh, those uh, little toothpicks that have the little string on it and you can clean in between your teeth. He'll play foggy mountain breakdown on that little string. I'm telling you, i it's unbelievable, unbelievable what Jared Easter can do. And I just want to give a nod and a salute to Jared Easter. That's not a slam to the, any of these other players because uh, three of the other five are piano players, and all three of them can outplay me. Something pitiful. You could cut off any of those three, one of their arms, and the one arm and the one hand would absolutely smoke anything I've ever done on the piano. They're incredible. I give them their due. And Sonia Isaacs, I mean, what a mandolin player and, and singer. We're not talking about singing, but I'm just got to throw it in there. I mean, my word. Jared Easter, sir, you, I have just simply got to salute. And with that in mind, I'm going to play a Jeff and Sherry song that has Jared playing steel guitar like an absolute insane maniac. And he is also playing a mandolin. And it's good stuff. Jeff and Sherry featuring Jared Easter. Sing it again. He was sitting on the back row of a little country church. Years of memories and a lifetime of regret. 
With trembling hands and a broken heart, tears rolled down his face. As he hung on every word the preacher said. When they sang his mama's favorite song, he couldn't hold it in. He said, sing it again. Story of love, for singing it once is never enough. I need some time to let it sink in. So turn it around and sing it again. Been a while now since that moment in that little country church. We still see him every now and then. Oh, and he's still reminiscing about how his life has changed and the old song where it all began. He'll can't hold it in. He'll say, Sing it again. The story of love. Sing it once. It's never enough. I need some time to let it sink in. Turn it around and sing it again. The story of love. Sing it once. Oh, it's never enough. I need some time to let it sink in. So turn it. Sing it again, Jeff and Sherry Easter. Sing it again. Man, that's good stuff. Good song, good singing, good everything. And show enough, good picking from one Jared Easter uh, up in the final five for the Musician of the Year. And as uh, uh, as is normally the uh, case, and, I, and uh, I don't know, we could get into the deep end of the pool on this, and I'm not going to get into the deep end of the pool. But... Um, uh, all, all the categories have basically the same folks in it every, every year in the final five. And um, this year, though, that right there was one that popped out from out of nowhere. Jared Easter making it in the top five in the favorite musician. And I want to give him a salute and a nod once again, because that is one uber talented man. Congratulations, Jared Easter. Now, in the uh, this is uh, a Facebook Live with Les, Southern Gospel Music memorabilia memories and ministry and here's a little memorabilia for you and i and it just hit me so i went back here to my wall where i've got just tons of stuff it's unbelievable and all over the place and, and it's in another building just it's all that's why i'm working so hard on this youtube channel but anyway uh check it out u.s gospel news remember that newspaper back uh, it was printed in, in, from uh, arkansas if i recall correctly now, uh, this might have been after it was sold and all that, and it, and it moved to wherever it moved to. It might have moved here to Tennessee or something. I don't know. Paul Borden, uh, Bo Bowden, rather. He was the founder of it, and uh, he was from Arkansas. And so, let's see, but they uh, sold, and uh, they moved to somewhere, I think. Uh, okay, no, it still stayed in Jonesboro. Jonesboro, Arkansas. And so, we played some Jeff and Sherry. So, how about that? Look at there. Look how young looking and everything. Now, Sherry still looks young like that, but Jeff now, he looks older than that just the way it is. 
And I was flipping, I just went and grabbed this and I totally forgot, totally forgot. Matter of fact, I'm, what I mean by totally forgot, I'm talking about 100% forgot because I was flipping through here to see if I could find the uh, the article on Jeff and Sherry and give you some more uh, uh, pictures and stuff like that. And I couldn't find it, but I stumbled on to something else, which I can't, oh, there it is. Check this out. I don't, I don't remember this. Meet Les Butler. That's me. They did a story on me in this thing. Maybe we'll have to read it together one day and do, do one of the Facebook live shows on it. But that was back when I was somebody. I'm, I'm nobody now. And that's good. I'm a somebody to, to the only person that, that's, that, that's an anybody that I'm worried about. That is the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm somebody to him. He died for me. But when it comes to all the other stuff, all the industry stuff, I'm a nobody now. All good, though. Jeff and Sherry Easter right there. And you got Jared Easter um, for the uh, musician. I'm going to put that back there. Musician of the year. All right. Let me see who else is uh, on here and what they're saying. We got them. We got over there. That's a good one. To, uh, Chad uh, Jones, Jared Easter, exactly a great steel player. Oh, boy, is he ever. Gloria says, that's a good one, too, Brother Mike. Brian Hoffman, Jared Easter, thumbs up. Brian Hoffman, you just sold one of those mugs, Les. Can't wait to get it. Amen. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. Daryl, I stepped away for a minute. Was Luke Vaught mentioned as a musician? He was not, and he's a fine one. A fine musician, a multi-instrumentalist. Of course, he's just playing piano with the inspirations now, which I think is a crying shame because he's great on those. Other, he's a great piano player, but he's even better on the other instruments. They need to find another piano player and let Luke just tear it up on everything else. It's my two cents. Gloria, what mug? I'll show you, Gloria. There's like, well, I think there was six left, and then Brian just bought one. So there's just five left now. Right there. There's old chubby cheek less. On the other side, look it out. Look at there. Live with Les, Southern Gospel, Music, Memorabilia, Memories, and Ministry. And right there, right there it is. Right there it is. If you want one, butlermusicgroup.com or familymusicgroup.com, and you can go to the store and buy one while they're still there. Uh, Brian, uh, in the online store. Yes. Uh, Virgil. Hi, Les. Hi, Virgil. And Chad, I wrote for USG and for Time. I remember that, Chad. I do. I remember that. Did you write that story about me? I didn't even see who wrote the story. We'll look at that on another day. All right. So let's go to one of the other categories here. Um, all right. Let's do. Okay. I'm going to talk about this one now for a minute. While I uh, let me find let me find a song here that I want to want to play by this group. Okay. We're going to. Um, We're going to talk bass singers. That's what we're going to do. We're going to talk bass singers. How come this is doing this? Give me just a minute here. Um, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Um, so... The five nominees include Pat Barker of the Guardians, who, for my two cents, is one of the greatest singers we have in Southern gospel music. Yes, he's a fine bass singer, but the man sings a lead like no other. Eric Bennett, he's won the thing for 500 years. That ought to tell you he's a pretty good bass singer. And in fact, he is exactly that. He's great. Matt Fouts of Legacy Five, he does a great job. Pat or Paul Harkey of uh, Vernie Haas's signature sound, big old bottom men, low, big sound, great bass singer. Then you have Jeff Chapman of the Kingdom Airs. Now, for years, Jeff, I don't even think made the top 10. And I know he didn't, didn't make the top five. And I don't know if this is his first year in the top five or not. Maybe he has before, but he's never won. Which is somewhere between crazy and just just full-on insanity how Jeff Chapman has never won it for bass vocalist of the year, giving the other four their due because, oh, my, <laughs> what bass singers. 
just simply incredible. But Jeff Chapman of the Kingdom Heirs, come on now. Come on. Range and low notes that just can't be explained. Tone that cannot be explained. It's just supernatural. And I kind of know a little bit about that kind of thing because, you know, I, I travel up and down the road with Mike Holcomb, who it's a crying shame he's not in the top five. I'm not even going to get started on that because I want to keep it all upbeat and, and love all these guys because they're all great. They are. If anybody walks away saying I said something negative about any of these people, rewind it, r- this show, and show it to me. Prove it. Because they're incredible. Every name I've said here, absolutely incredible. But they missed the boat with Mike Holcomb and how Jeff Chapman has never won it for Bass Folklist of the Year is simply a crying shame. And I pray this is the year where that insanity ends. And I'm going to play a little Kingdom Air song here, which is from their new record. And it doesn't even feature Jeff. <laughs> I could choose one of a bunch of songs that features him, and then you hear all of the the just... It's hard to explain just how great he is. But I'm just going to play a regular old quartet song here from the Kingdom Airs, And just listen to the bass singing when it's not even being featured. Jeff Chapman of the Kingdom Air, sir, I salute you. God knows how much mercy I need. How much mercy I need. When I was out in sin, God showed mercy. Even then, By the way, let's have church on this song. He gave me one more chance to make it right. Now when heartache comes my way, I can hear my father say, We'll walk together through the dark till we see light. God knows how much mercy I need. Hallelujah. No matter the struggle or the trouble I see. I know he'll be passing by. God knows how much mercy I'm mercy. Hallelujah. I read it in the song. Mercy follows me along. Glory. And we Mercy, I mercy, I need. No matter the struggle or the trouble, I see. I see. When I need a fresh supply, I know He'll be passing by. God knows how much mercy I mercy I need. When I need a fresh supply, I know He'll be passing. 
Uh, one more time there on that bass singing before I just commence into preaching. I mean, Jeff Chapman, sir. Now, that second verse, the second verse, I'm gonna, I got to do about 10 things at the same time because you see, I'm the host, I'm the producer, I'm the cameraman, I'm the audio technician, I'm the music director. I'm, I, I, I took out the garbage down there, cleaned the bathrooms, and I got to do, do it all, and it's just the way it is. And I'm sorry about that because it could be a lot better and a lot smoother if I didn't have to do everything. But I do, and it's the way it is. I apologize. Now, in that second verse of that song, Brother Arthur references the book of Psalm. He's talking about, of course, that 23rd Psalm. And in that last verse, now this isn't for everybody. This is for an exclusive club. It's for an exclusive club of born-again believers. When it says in that last verse, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. How many days is that, Brother Les? All. Now, do you really mean all? Did he really mean all when, when David held, held the, the, the pen and the Holy Ghost moved and moved and had him write those specific words? Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. You really believe that's what he meant to say? I sure do. And all, you know what all means? I'm going to give you the definition of all. It means all. That means the days that are good and the days that are bad, the child of God, all they have to do is to look over their left shoulder and over their right shoulder, and you know who they see? Goodness and mercy. Hallelujah. Why? Because the 23rd Psalm says so. It says for the child of God that surely goodness right over here and mercy right there over that shoulder, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. That means whenever the call comes in from your employer, that things are so good that they want you to get another position and they want you to climb the corporate ladder and you're going to get a 30% raise and you're going to get stock options and you're going to get benefits and you're going to get this, that, and the other. Take a look over here. There's surely and there, there's goodness and there's mercy following you on that day. Now, a few years down the road, when the phone rings again and, and it's your boss saying this COVID thing has messed everything up and we got to close our doors and you no longer have a job, child of God, guess what? All the days, all the days, all the days of your life, surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days. When the calls come in that are good calls, when the calls come in that are bad calls, goodness and mercy is following us. When you have to go to the hospital and get that report that, man, you got a problem, my brother Les, I'll just dial it down to me. You've got what they call COVID. It's got pneumonia. Your lungs are shutting down, and we don't think you're going to make it. Do you know in that hospital room that this very thought I'm preaching about right now hit me? And I got to looking around the hospital room, and I saw goodness, and I saw mercy following me, and it made me be all right. <laughs> it could have been a whole lot worse until I found goodness and mercy tagging along with me. And that lifted me up, and I believe that could have been part of the turnaround that God used to get me out of that place. And then uh, fast forward a few months later, and here comes the report about my lungs. 
that they said because my mother had died of pulmonary fibrosis. I almost died with the lung disease from this COVID. They said, be prepared, Les, be prepared. You, you're going to have uh, pulmonary fibrosis, and it's a five to 10-year death sentence. So I'm walking in thinking, okay, this is what the doctors are telling me, but I wonder what Dr. God has to say about it. Dr. God shows up and says, your lung scan's just fine there, Brother Les. I got to looking around. There was, look at there, goodness and mercy following me. Hallelujah. The same old boys that was following me in the hospital when I was about to die was following me when the good report came. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow the child of God all, all, all the days of our lives. Then we're going to get to go to dwell in the house of the Lord forever with him. Somebody just run around the house once for me, would you? Hallelujah. All of that stirred up because I wanted to play a song where Jeff Chapman wasn't featured. Man, I'm glad God pointed me to that song right there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. I had other scriptures. I had other things on my heart and on my mind, and God just went, you're going to change that, Brother Les? So I changed that. There's your ministry for tonight. And it wasn't what, it, what I thought it was going to be, but it was even better. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word, for your goodness, and for your mercy. <laughs> Glory. All right, I'm going to do one more category. I normally do the ministry at the end, but it just had to come out right there. Okay, here's the last piece. Favorite new artist. Now, this is going to be somewhat self-serving, but it's my show, so I could do what I want. All fine, fine folks. Bowling Sisters, Endless Highway, Heart to Heart, Jordan Family Band, The Sound. Great, great. Great, great. But I'm giving the big salute to heart to heart. They're on my label. <laughs> I produced their new record, which has been a just a, a, a wonderful hit for them. And I am so, so proud and happy for them. And I'm giving them the nod. You don't have to. Get your own Facebook live show and then nod whoever you want to nod to. <laughs> I'm nodding to who I want to nod to. And uh, I could play, this whole record is just, man, I'm just so proud of them. I'm proud of this record and it's just wonderful. I'm going to, Lord, what do you want me to do here? I, I Let's see. I think. I think I'm going to go ahead and play the one I was going to play. And I had other things I was going to tie into it for, for, for the ministry tonight. But, um, well, God just showed up and changed that. But I'm going to play this final song. Then we're going to call it a day. Let me see what everybody else is saying here. Uh, let's see. I last looked at Chad Jones there. I wrote for USGN for time. Yes. Uh, uh, Mike Holcomb, Mike, yes, it is. Oh, yes. Well, praise the Lord. Somebody said, praise. okay, Mike's having church on that Kingdom Air song. Hallelujah. Patty Graham, she's joining you, Mike. Uh, yes, sir, brother, praise the Lord. God will never supply less mercy than I need. There's always leftovers. Daryl Sheely, preach, preach, preach. All means all. That's all that means. All means. <laughs> uh, no, I believe we just got the ministry part of the program. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, Brother Les, amen, Patty Graham, and amen for Patty Graham and Heart to Heart. All right, here we go. I love this song. When we were in the studio recording it and they were singing it, Dina was singing the lead on this. I'm telling you, man, the Lord showed up. I just started bawling and had church in a recording studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And it's just apt to happen again tonight. If it does, hallelujah. We're just going to worship on because I like doing it. I like worship. I like old-fashioned Holy Ghost led old timey worship. And it just might happen on this song right here. Only thing left. Jesus loves you. Heart to heart. 
my pick for New Artist of the Year, the CN News fan. Let this song bless you. Take away the mortar. Take away the bricks. Take away the steel. Take away the sticks. Take the stained glass. The pulpit and the pews. And the only thing left is Jesus loves you. Take away the slogans and the self-righteous pride. Take away the money and who's wrong or right. Take what's been written from man's point of view. Loves you. I'm talking about love, my friend, not the hate of a bitter man. What's left to argue when I tell you that he loves you? left to argue when I tell you that he loves you. Take away the bark from a dogwood tree. Tie the wood together, drag it through the streets. Take away the red, the black And the only thing left is Jesus loves you. Believe it or not, Jesus loves you. Take away the bricks, take away the mortar. You can take away the light fixtures. You can take away the little the little plaque up there on there. It tells you how many is in attendance for the day and how much the offering was. And you can take away you you can take away. I mean the altar. You can take away every carpet. Take it all away. Take it. Tear it all down. You know what you got left? Jesus loves you. Oh, yeah. For God so loved the world. The world. That's you. Red, yellow, black, and white. We're all precious in his sight. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world. Take everything else in this world away. Take the bank accounts, throw it away. Take your awards, your certificates, your plaques, throw it all away. What's left? Jesus loves you. Take away all the accolades. Take away all of your uh, uh your offices. I don't care if you're a king or a queen or if you're on workers' comp and don't have enough money to maybe buy food tomorrow. Take it all away. All of it. You know what you got left? Jesus loves you. Mm. Aren't you glad for that? The love of God. Thank you, heart to heart. 
love, love, love the thought in that song. Well, there you go. There's our Singing News Fan Award Top 5 nominee program, and I just kind of drilled down on three categories and uh, gave you my two cents. My two cents, uh, probably going to get a nickel change back from that two cents, but that's okay. That's all right. I hope you enjoyed the music. Hope you enjoyed the ministry, man. I was enjoying that. <laughs> and uh, uh, the memorabilia, that old Jeff and Sherry newspaper there that I showed you, that was cool. Okay. Um, Thursday night. Thursday night, we're going to have another show. And it's going to be about this um, survey that I saw that said, in America today, church attendance is at its lowest ebb ever. Got some thoughts on that. And uh, we're going to dial that up Thursday night and play some songs that actually tie into that. And uh, so I invite you back next uh, on Thursday, about 47 hours from now, 7 Central, 8 Eastern. We'll do it again, okay? And hit share. Would you do that? Would you hit share and let other people um, hear the songs and the ministry that we did and that Jeff and Sherry newspaper uh, part that I showed you and, uh, and let them be blessed by some of that, okay? God bless you all, Lord willing. If he tears his, tarries his coming, hope to see you Thursday night, live with Les.